what is going on, people. If you couldn't tell by the title, I'm here for another review. And not just any review, it's a Horror Pack review. For those of you who don't know what Horror Pack is, go check out my other videos, but pretty much a Horror Pack is a monthly subscription service where you can get any, either four Blu-rays, four DVDs, or if you wanted to get both to bulk up your collection, you can order both. It's a monthly subscription service, so every month that you order it or sign up for it, you're going to get four movies no matter what. Sometimes you get, you know, well-known titles. Other times you get lesser-known titles that they actually put out themselves, it's kind of branded by them. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to watch these lesser-known titles, do a review for you, so maybe the next time, next month, you might want to order uh, Horror Pack. So, if you couldn't tell by the title, this is a review of the movie called Knucklebone. This was the one that I, I actually got Horror Pack today, I just did a unboxing for it, so check that out right after this. Anyway, this is the one that I, you know, definitely caught my eye the most. Uh, this one is written and directed by Mitch Wilson. It stars Julian Jean, Tom Zembrod, and Katie Bos Bosiak. Hopefully I said that right. I'm horrible with names. Among many others. So pretty much what this is, is a group of kids, a group of teens. Well, first off, let me say, there was one scene in this that I didn't know if they, it was going to tie back into each other. But pretty much in the beginning, a girl breaks up with her boyfriend and she's so upset that I guess she tries to commit suicide, they bring her back, and then you can tell she's depressed and everything, and her friends finally come and see her, and at one point, they decide to bring her to a old war, uh, World War II bunker, turn into like this, um, this clothes company, so anyway, it's supposed to be haunted and everything, so of course the first thing you think of, uh, your friend almost committed suicide, let's go ahead and scare the shit out of her and bring her somewhere crazy. So anyway, uh, they, it's these two guys and these three girls, and you know that because these two guys continue to say it. The one kid's like, oh, two, three girls for us, for us, we're two guys and there's three girls and all this. You can tell the one is kind of like a doofus. So anyway, these five people, they end up going into this World War II bunker, and the girl that commits suicide, oh, well, tried to commit suicide, she starts hearing these noises, and she's like, I hear stuff in the walls and everything. So the one guy has these tools, and he's like, you know, there's a, a space in this wall, so there might be something in there. So they end up breaking this wall, and they find this, like, crate of stuff, and they're like, oh, it could be worth money and everything. And they end up opening it, and there's this game in it. It's like... It's called Knuckle Bones, and it, there's a whole, you know, kind of um, story, like the, the, how you play the game kind of deal. And it pretty much tells you if you play this game, you're going to summon this demon, and they're like, oh, there's no such thing, whatever. So they play this game, and lo and behold, they summon this demon. And then this movie turns into, like, a slasher, but with a demon. It's just got a different, like, tone to it. it it's different. It's, you know, it has a slasher moment. It kind of had like this, like, Nightmare on Elm Street kind of feel to it, because the, the guy who, the guy Tom plays the guy Knucklebone, and he's like this demon-like creature, this like, skeleton almost looking thing, and it's like a wise ass. It almost has that like, Freddy Krueger-like feel to it. And let me say, it's very gory. So pretty much the rest of the movie is these teens trying to kind of um, stay and run away from this from this guy. Well, this Knucklebones character. Uh, finally, they read that there is a way to unsummon this character, but you gotta, let's just say, it might not be something you want to do, but pretty much if you want to get rid of this guy, you have to do it. So throughout the rest of the movie, throughout the back end of the movie, it's them trying to figure out how to get out, and then they find out how to do it, and let's just say, it's not the greatest way to end, like, to get rid of this guy, but to do, that's the only way you're getting rid of it. So, I don't want to get into the back end, because it has like a twist ending, I guess you want to call it, I kind of saw it coming, but it has a kind of twist ending to it, and let's just say, for what it was, it's, you can tell it was a little lower budget, um, but for what it was, it was definitely a, I 
never heard the story before, like a demon slasher, it's either one or the other. You either get like a demon or, you know, this one kind of brings both genres together. The gore in this, there was certain parts I was like, you know, that was very impressive. Let's just say the way this guy gets summoned and the way he pops out, I'll leave it at that, he pops out, um, that's pretty in intense. And then, you know, he's... His one line, he has like one liners, and it's just, it's pretty funny. So I say definitely go ahead. If, I'll look for a link. I don't know, because Horror Pack, like I said, they put out these Horror Pack exclusives, so I don't know if they're for sale or not, but I'll try to find a, um, a, a link for it. If not, go ahead, sign up for the next month's uh, Horror Pack, which is still open, either, like I said, a Blu ray or a DVD, which I'll leave the link to in the bottom of this video, as well as, you know, the, the pay, uh, IMDB page and everything. But I'd say definitely go ahead. If you can find it, which I'll try to find it, definitely go ahead, check it out. I don't know if it's on Netflix or anything like that, but definitely go ahead, check this out. Go ahead, check out uh, Horror Pack, horrorpack.com. It also has all this other stuff where I'll link. And I'll leave the link to, uh, I have a $3 off promo code, I guess you want to call it, so you save yourself $3 on the, on the month. So hopefully you enjoyed this. If you liked my review, definitely go ahead and, and give it a thumbs up, let people know I'm out here. Uh, subscribe if you haven't. I'll leave the links to all my other social media sites, such as Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and everything else. So I'll leave the link to everything I'm talking about, and hopefully you enjoyed this. If there's anything else you want me to review, let me know. And until next time, I'll 